Okay, everybody, this is Lex at Max Future, and uh, this is my first sort of quick review of the iPad Air. I picked up a 64 gigabyte version. I actually picked it up on launch day without uh, the LTE, but then I decided I wanted the free LTE that comes with T-Mobile. I think they give you like 200 megabytes. So I got the iPad Air, and uh, one of my first impressions, my first impressions are it's, it's significantly thinner and significantly lighter than the iPad 4 and the iPad 3. I've had every generation of the iPad except the iPad 4. Actually, at work, I have the iPad 4. But I was a little saddened when we went from the iPad 2 to the iPad 3 because although we got the Retina display with the iPad 3, we we gained some thickness and weight from the iPad 2. And frankly, you know, the gain in weight really sort of, I felt like, set back the iPad a little bit. But Apple did a tremendous thing. They dropped the weight of the iPad Air from the iPad 4, I think from like 1.4 pounds to 1 pound. And so now it's like really much lighter and you can actually hold it in your hand. It's not like a real, doesn't really bend your wrist and make it heavy. So that's like one of the big, big improvements. And it's so much thinner. They made it significantly thinner by narrowing the bezel on the sides here. It's thinner here. And um, they gave it sort of like the, the last year's mini feel in terms of the, the curve and the, the polish. And um, I got the black, the whatever, the space gray color, which the I, iPhone 5S comes in also. So look, this thing is great. I think it's a great upgrade. Frankly, even if you have the iPad 4, I would sell the iPad 4 and get this, um, get, get this device. The, um, the processor is incredibly powerful. And let me show you a test that I did. I used Geech, Geekbench uh, 3 to so do a test. I ran a test on Geekbench 3, and you could see the score there for multi-core is 2,684, and for single-core, 1,479. That's significant because, frankly, that score is similar to, I think, a 2010 Mac Mini. So this iPad is essentially as powerful as a Mac Mini from just a couple of years ago. And that really makes a difference because, you know, you're going to find that everything runs quicker on, um, on this device. So, look, I think it's a, it's a major upgrade. And if, even if you have an iPad 4, I would get it just to have a thinner, lighter, super powerful iPad. Um, the one disappointment is they, it doesn't have the, um, you know, the fingerprint sensor on, on the uh, home button. You know, and I really like that on the iPhone 5S. They probably want to see how well that works with the iPhone 5S, and probably next year's version of the iPad Air and iPad Mini will have that. But again, look how thin, how um, light this is, and it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a definitely a major, major upgrade, and uh, I would check it out.